Howdy boys and girls. Welcome to another exciting adventure of Jimmy Time. Um, I'm Bitterman. We're playing Arcage. I'm about to do one of my famous pack runs in Arcage. A wartime pack run. Hopefully I haven't looked at the map. I just logged in. Yeah, Hell Swamp. It's in dispute. It's, uh, it's a zone that's not a happy place. You can be killed there and I'm going to go there right now and I'm going to run a pack. And I'm going to hopefully catch some fish on the way back. This is what I do when I'm bored. I'm bound there. So here I go. Woohoo. Alright, looking around. First thing I'm going to do. This is part of my ritual. Is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get these trees. Because they're big and they're free. Not free. I mean, it costs labor to chop them, but... <clears throat> Ooh, I got a green. I got a green. I got a green. That's cool. That's really good. That's like 45 logs. Oh, yeah. These trees are up. The time is right. So, normally, it just gives 14 logs. One of those green thingy mid bobbers. Special logs. They give, like, I think, 47 or something crazy. Pretty fucking awesome. Twelve. Twelve more. I don't do the hornbeam trees. There's a lot of those in here too, because why? It costs a lot of labor to chop down, and they only give a small amount of return. Not much product back, so, you know, it just ain't worth it. Alright, so there's some guards. Those are neutral guards, which means if I get into a fight next to those guards and I hit somebody. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill them too. It's one of the mechanics in the zone. <clears throat> so if you do get into a PvP situation, and you don't want to be in that situation, and there's guards around, you can kind of get, you know, you can use that to your advantage. You can also get screwed by it. Alright, so we're coming up to a red area. This is where the opposing faction lives. We're going to come right up in here. There's probably going to be some reds. So what I'm going to do is hop off my horse. I'm going to stealth my guy. It's not 100% invisible, but it does help quite a bit. Let's see what we got going up here. What is that guy? No big deal. It's a non-factor. I don't see anybody else. It looks clear. That guy is around the corner. Let's do it. Alright, I timed this so when my stealth cooldown is up. I mean, when my pack is done, my stealth cooldown is up. Let's see? I don't see anybody coming. It's all good. I got away with it. Now, when you got a pack on your back, you're a target. Everybody wants to kill you. Because it's a free pack. Why not? When you have a pack on your back, you walk really slow. I think we probably covered this. I just like talking about basics because I assume my audience, uh, a lot of you have never seen this game nor played it. It's a cool game. Gotta say it. It's fun. I enjoy it. Alright, just kind of scanning around, looking for trees. As you can see, my cooldown's coming down. Right when we get to the bottom, I'm going to re reapply. I might have appeared just for a blink there, but you know, unless somebody was like looking right at me, they're not going to see me. If they were close enough, they could hear it, but I don't think anybody's close enough. 
All right, now I'm going to share one of my other little tricks. This is uh, nothing new to a lot of people who've, I've taught this one to a lot of people. But what I do is there's a Nui down here. I don't take damage if I fall right next to it because they're like safe zones. So I just slid down there. All right, tractor, these guys, these guys will kill me. We're trying. I think they're away. We're going to find out. I'm watching them. Watching for any movement that'll give it away. I don't see anything. Alright, let's go. Oh, that guy's awake. He's getting on a horse. Looks like he's going away. Maybe. I don't know. A little reverse camera action there. Alright, I'm going to carry it up on my donkey and make him run faster. Nobody wants a piece of Jimmy today, and that's good. I don't really feel like fighting somebody right now with a pack on my back, but if it happens, I am ready to go. I'm ready to lose. I don't care if I lose my pack. It's not the end of the world. So here we go. Alright, now we're on to phase two of this. Got the pack, now we gotta get it to the other side of the world. <clears throat> Alright, I put on my flippers, that makes me go much faster in water. I'm getting rid of my donkey. I'm going to get another tree out of the deal. Alright, now I'm summoning a boat. The boat is going to go down the river. Not home free yet, but generally this is the home stretch. Oh, another tree. I want that tree. I like these trees because they're good. They're good. See, the cool thing about getting these trees... Ugh, is that once you have them in your inventory, they're yours. And wood's a pretty valuable resource in the game. Damn it. That's kind of annoying. God damn it. Nobody's been through here in a while to get these trees. Let's see if I can backflip onto the boat.
professionally done. If I do say so, and I do. I definitely do. Two more trees, damn. Everything is awesome. Wow, two more. Sweet. All right, cool. So, yeah, that was a an awesome tree run. If I do say so, again. All right, so here we come up on this waterfall. <clears throat> now, on this waterfall, you can either go around, you can go to the right, which goes down to a road. Uh, we used to do that quite a bit, thinking it was uh, more efficient somehow, safer, I don't know what. But you know what? In the long run, the big picture, doing these hell runs, as a Haranian, which is what I am, the cat people, uh, this is the way to go, definitely. So I usually walk up to the edge of the boat, do a little balancing beam thing there, get rid of the boat. Now I have shadow play. So I don't take any fall damage when I jump back there. He's a backflip at the bottom. As you can see, that backflip is like one of my favorite tools. It's one of the better tools for sure. In the shadow play, it's like, you know, it's right up there with stealth. And some people who will tell you that stealth is... That they had to get rid of stealth, because they just didn't have the points for it. I think stealth is really important. When you're a magic user, which I am, I'm a dagger spell, and you're wearing cloth, you're going to get your ass handed to you if somebody sees you. And when you can uh, disappear, blink out, you got a really good chance of escape. Um, it's a very big advantage. We can talk about build. Maybe I'll do that when I get on the ocean. <clears throat> I don't have to pay so much attention. Alright, so you can't take a boat through this bridge. Just depop it. And get up to the bridge. I'm gonna swim over here. Now, when you spawn a boat, it always spawns facing 90 degrees to you and the bow facing left. So I face the opposing wall from this side. I look down at my feet, which makes it spawn a little bit closer, or so they say. We are on the boat. Uh, cats, the uh, captain's intuition, it gives you a little bit more steering. Look back, I don't see any, anybody following. It's all safe, it's all good. All right, so everything is awesome, basically. And now I'm going to head over here. Now, I'm going to look at the big map here. I want to go from here to here. Somewhere over here. I think it's like right in here somewhere. Right here. Right there. That's my goal. But I'm not going to take the most direct route. 
I'm actually going to skirt along the bottom of this map and go straight across. The reason for that is because I want to do some fishing. Not necessarily going to fish, but I'm looking for marlin spots because marlin are the best fish. By far. Sailfish, are, you know, kind of a... They're okay, but you want marlins because they're worth more. And it's the same amount of labor to fish for any kind of fish. So if it costs the same to go after them, then you always want the best. You want to be the most efficient, make the most efficient use of your time and labor. Or not. Or you can just be stupid. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. I'm just telling you how I roll. Sea bugs. Yes, very annoying. Extremely annoying. I've come to not give a shit about them. I just kind of like let them do their thing. And get these last couple off my boat here. Alright. Sea bugs are gone. I'm still in I'm battle, apparently, with the sea bugs. Alright. Now I'm going to spawn my fishing boat. And I'm looking for fishing nodes. The fish spawn in... Uh, that you can fish the, the sport fishing fish. spawn in, you know, certain areas. This being one of them. The boat has a fish finder on it. Which is this sonar looking thing. Right now there's nothing on radar. So I'm going to close that. This is much more efficient with two people. Because you can have somebody on the fish finder. Cruising along in the old boat. Alright, so now I have a fish. I'm going to shift click that, and it's going to mark the fish. Since I can't stay on the radar, but you can mark the map, and those marks are really good to have in this game. It's awesome. You're in a group, obviously, <clears throat> and you're separated. You can throw a mark down and say rendezvous at mark or whatever, depending on what you're doing, if you're PvPing or fishing, or solo fishing in my case. I know I talk too much. So hopefully this is a uh, blue marlin fishing spot. And we're looking for birds. Swirling seagulls. Swarming seagulls. A flock of seagulls. I ran. I ran so far away. I couldn't get away. Yeah, be good or I'll sing. You better like my videos. Alright, there's my seagulls. Sailfish. Sailfish are, you know, like I said, they're not marlins. And I'm not going to waste my time on them right now. Because I don't want to. I'm saving my labor for the big boys. Now, last night in particular, we freaking searched for three hours find, trying to find marlins. And we ended up doing a couple of sailfish. But you know what? When I've gone like two or three fishes doing sailfishing, not doing marlin fishing, 
I start to get a little bit edgy and pissy about it, and I'm not doing any more fucking sailfish. Okay? Got it? Alright, good talk. You know, I don't really have to have this pack on my back because this boat has a spot to put it in there. To put a uh, two packs, actually. Right here. Actually, it has three packs. Wow. I never noticed that spot until right now. I have to admit. That's pretty dang cool. But the reason I'm not putting a pack in there is because I, when I don't have a pack in the boat, I can despawn the boat. So if somebody comes along and they want to kill me, they're not going to just take my boat with a pack in it and go wherever they want to go. They're going to have to kill me. And there's a small difference, I know. It also gives me the freedom to be able to despawn my fishing boat and spawn my clipper, the boat I started with. I like being able to do that. Clipper is much faster. Let's quick look around. Situational awareness is a good thing. Now I have what what are called eco fuels on me. Those are those things. <clears throat> I got 45 of them. Uh, I can spend five eco fuels by pressing that button there. The four wind. See, it says right there requires five eco friendly fuels. That speeds the boat up. But I don't want to waste them because they're kind of expensive to make. I mean, not terribly expensive, but I don't need it right now because there's nobody chasing me. It's just a luxury kind of thing. Oh, sturgeon. Sturgeon absolutely suck ass. It's definitely the worst fish, one of the worst fish that's not worth it. It's not worth it at all, the fish for them. All right, so I'm going to angle back down on the map here. Angle back down towards this corner of the map. And I'm going to hope that we get some more fish marked. I ain't shit. That little dong noise was the jellyfish back there. He's going to shoot something at me. There he goes. Oh, he didn't shoot. Oh, well. They're annoying. Like sea bugs. They're really annoying, actually. Because if you attack them, they run away. Just, I think they exist to be a pain in the ass. Nothing else. I ain't shut. Not a good day to fish. Anyway, on this run, sometimes you can run into a, a school of marlins, and that's quite the haul. By yourself, you're kind of down here at the bottom of the map. Nobody's likely to come fuck with you. Fishing by yourself is a dangerous proposition because, <clears throat> you know, there's people out there that Let's come along and gank ya. Groups will come along and take your shit. And it's expensive to fish. Everything is labor-based. It costs 100 points to catch one fish. So if you fill up your boat with fish, there's five spots to put a fish, and you can put one on your back. That's 600 labor. That's how I look at it. That's my loss. If somebody comes along and ganks me. Oh, look, another fish spawned right there. See, that one despawned and that one respawned. I'm not going back. Just not doing it. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. I'm not doing it because... I've, I've had so many bluefin tuna and sturgeon. 
I'm just tired of wasting my time. I do have a pack, so I'm not getting skunked if there's no fish on here along here. And it saves my labor for later when my friends are actually on. Nobody's on right now. Fishing is way better if you're with people. Works out better for everybody. Because it costs a lot to uh, to activate a fishing spot. It's called chumming the spot. Um, this is chum right here. Chopped mackerel. Each one of those costs anywhere from 12 to 20 gold. 25 gold maybe. Or you can buy them on the ship with a... Uh, with tokens with vocation badges they're expensive not gonna lie so doesn't if one person chums a spot you can have you know infinite number of people fishing that spot it's better to you just more efficient to have more people fish it and then you can share the chumming you chum this one they chum that one so on and so forth you protect each other from getting ganked there's a spot. Yada, 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 so on and so forth, your honor. And make a little sweep over here, just in case there's another fishing down in this corner. And take one last glance down here in the corner. No. Okay. All right, so we're going to do head up due north. Now, as you can see, I'm in a war zone right now, which makes me completely vulnerable to attack. Anybody can attack me anytime. There's no repercussions. There is actually a reward for it. You get honor. There's a storm cloud up here. But when you get within range of shore, as you can see on the map, there's those little ripples that go along the edge of the shore. That's roughly the boundary of, uh, of the safe zone. Now this is my home continent, Haranya, and Nuia is the opposing faction. That's where I started out over here in Hellswam. When I'm next to my continent and I get attacked, I'm, I mean, when I'm in my area, I can't get attacked. It's safe. It's not a war zone. I can attack them if I choose to, but they can't attack me. And vice versa if I'm on the Nui inside. So obviously, when you're fishing, you want to be close to shore, because when you're close to shore, and you get attacked or fucked with or whatever, you can just cruise into that little safe area, and your boat's safe. And you can follow the shore to a place to turn in the fish, which is good. You don't get ganked. Out oh, tuna, woohoo! So exciting. This is the story of my life lately. Okay, so as we go more and more north, it gets more and more dangerous. Wow, Divine Nodachi. Ethereum Meteor Nodachi. Holy fuck, that is a nice weapon. Jesus. That is insane. Honestly, that is insane. The random chance of getting that is so low, and it's so such a high risk to gamble to get there to put all those gems in there and everything I, th I bet you that thing's worth at least 30 grand if not more probably more probably more like 50,000 maybe more who knows gold it's pretty fucking awesome so now I'm in kind of a dangerous place I'm out in the middle of the ocean I'm by myself I got a pack on my back it's really not the smartest thing to be fishing out here, or be even being out here. But right now, what do I have to lose? I have a pack. It's not a big deal. If I lose a pack, I don't care. I'm having fun, doing a video. It's all good. 
But blue fin tuna. All right, I'm 30 minutes in. This is a voiceover. I'm going to make a part two so I don't tie up my computer all day. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in part two.